Hi, welcome to another Married to Reselling video. I am Simon. I'm Faye. And together we are Married to Reselling. We're a UK reselling couple, selling mainly on Amazon and eBay and some other places as well. And we buy from charity shops, auctions. And other places as well. Yes. <laughs> so this is our usual weekly kind of vlog. We are first of all picking. Yep. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces to pick and then there'll be the usual stuff, probably a little bit of a haul, what do you reckon? Yep, yeah, let's go. Hello, baby. Right, TOG24 cardigan. Yeah. So... Tops? Yep. Yeah. Where's the little foot store? It's over there. Knitted and it's grey. I've got a feeling it's not going to be in there. Really? Yeah. Don't say that. Okay, we'll come back to that one. We'll continue in that tub. So what is that tub? M to Z. It's that vintage, multicoloured, hideous jumper that we got off Nick and Andrea in that vintage bundle. There you go. That. I haven't worked out the cost price. It was a couple £2. of... £2.50, I think we said. Oh, okay. That sold for £23.99. It's a vintage Yvonne Essis jumper. Um, have we got anything else in that tub? Yes, a Rohan Globetrotter long sleeve shirt, light purple. Have you just put it in there? 17 inches. Yes, in. that cost 6 99 sell for 25 Uh That's it in that one. Oh, hang on, I forgot these. This is where things go missing. Fancy some shoes next? Mm. Some Fit Flop Oasis 2. Pebble suede flip flops. There we go. They cost five pound fifty, and they sold for twenty seven forty nine. Then we got some um, brick of the brack. It's a Franz Ladybug Ladybird ornamental trinket dish. Have we got it. Yeah. Excellent. Now paid up for that. Sold this before and bought it a lot cheaper, and I shouldn't have paid nine ninety nine for it because we only sold it for nineteen ninety nine. You can get these for a couple of quid they're worth it yeah anything france but i mean france do some amazing stuff chinese isn't it i believe it's chinese yeah. uh we've got a paperweight a papier weight <laughs> weight de papier it's an art glass paperweight green blue white oval speckled swirl five centimeters by five centimeters that was three pound in a job lot we got from the auction in august and that sold for 14.99 it couldn't really go for much more. It was tiny. It was nothing special. Apples to apples. Do you want to just hold oh. up the box? Brilliant. There we go. Apples to apples. That cost one pound fifteen. That sold for ten ninety nine. Upstairs. Tops. G. G for. <laughs> I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> Giordano blue shirt, extra large stripes. Night looks towards you towards oh maybe that one is it that one it looks very blue to me is it an extra large it is yeah nice that costs 4.99 that sold for 26.99 and it's linen keep oh, wait a minute wait what are we uh, looking at in there what are the what's the alphabet on that one uh g to l G to L. So we've got some Joe Browns. We've got a Joe Browns gypsy top, plus size, navy blue, size 26. That was $5.99, so for $21.99. And also in there, we have got a Joe Browns gorgeous boho blouse, plus size 18 ivory ivory color yeah i went i put gorgeous because not because i'm just using up letters yeah. it's because that's what the top was called don't do it yeah okay that's it from that one dresses dresses yeah. <sighs> you can do it. Oh. dresses this isn't very good is it this is in the wrong way round no label. Well, you know why that's there. Is that Cobby? No. Oh, yeah. Dresses. So we've got a jigsaw dress, large blue, white, patterned, 100% silk. 
that looks like it. Yeah, that cost six seventy five, and they bought that and a Calvin Klein polo shirt for a total of fifty one pound forty eight, and the polo shirt cost six pounds. So while you've got dresses open, yeah, let's look for the East Maxi dress, blue, red, white, and blue. No, no, no. Bring it up, but like look at the other side towards you. There it is. I'll stick your hands on it. Yeah. Lovely pattern dress this one. This was six pounds sold for $19.99. That's been this since July. And then we've got the Jams World dress, vintage green. It's here. Made in Hawaii. That was from Nick and Andrea for so £2.50 and that sold for £76. That's going uh, abroad on the GSP. Yeah, you were quite pleased when you researched Jam. Was it Jams? Jams World, yeah. Jams Central World. America, that one. Then we started it at 1.30 yeah and then just dropped it dropped it over only a couple of weeks so yeah. like five pound every few days and yeah bing found its biting point it did cool that's it for dresses <coughs> then we've got tops c for calvin which is directly to your left A white and navy blue Calvin Klein golf polo. That's the lady that also bought the jigsaw dress. So that was six pounds. Next, we've got hats. Hats. Is oh, it in accessories? Yeah. Or? yeah. Squeaky tractor. Possibly. Have we not got our hats anymore. It's red and white. It's the Trek Mates Cool Everglade cap. Not in there. So it is around. I'm sure we've got hats. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Is it in anyone's own? <laughs> No. This cost three pound. This is it in July. Sold sixteen ninety nine. That's it, it for hats. It's the great. I don't know where that went. It's the great thing. What we. So what we do with the tubs? We we did originally like label them with paper labels, but hey ho, no point. Brown tape, marker pen. Change your tubs. Yeah. Whenever you need. Now you can change your tubs every day. The friends reference. Yeah. We have some next chino shorts, size 18. They're like a natural stony beige colour. That was what I was waiting for. No. I mean, stone. Just been to the beach. Next shorts, 18 chino. Lots of different coloured stones that you can get. Yeah, for one ninety nine, they sold for nine ninety nine plus post. Uh, you're moving too hastily there. Oh. Vintage Chelsea. It's this navy blue one. Chelsea girl midi skirt, UK six blue. That was from Nick and Andrew as well. Cost two pound fifty. Sold for seventeen ninety nine. That concludes okay. the bottoms tub. Um, mugs. Yeah. It's a Disney Pocahontas mug. Could be in a. What colour? Uh, it's multi It's Pocahontas. Okay. It's not in a. It's a. It's not in a box. Look, Disney. Here's some yeah, clues. Well, I can see lots of Disney mugs. Okay. It's an in. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Says it. And then we've got. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> and then we've got another mug. Denby Boston Blue Breakfast Cup. There's more mugging than this one. That's it. There it is. You're a bit more muggy. And then we have the John Lewis double duvet cover. Oh, oh the Denby mug. 
by the way, in case you wanted to know, cost two pound fifty and sold for fourteen. Of course, we wanted to know. That's what we're here for. Oh. Just trashing your um, fifty pound mugs. Thanks. Uh, this at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. This was from the kilo sale. This cost four pounds, and we've picked it before. But then someone, or no, we didn't. It sold, but they didn't pay, and that yeah. sold for twenty nine ninety nine. It's a double duvet cover, brand new. Here we got a haul for you. Can't remember when we got this stuff. This was this week. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I popped out. I. Oh, yeah. I went to the charity shop just after the post office. There's two shops in total, yeah. isn't it? So we'll, sh we'll go. We'll start with clothes because then I can just move them out of the way. Um, and let's just just hit the ground running. Let's just mm. go for it. Do it. Uh, first up is this editions by Anne Blair. I think it is made in England vintage jacket. That's unusual. This was four pounds and it's a size 12. When I list that on eBay, I always cross list my clothes to Vinted and Depop as well, but that will also go on our Etsy shop because it's vintage, vintage and we only sell vintage on Etsy. Next up is Karen Millen and this is a asymmetrical vest top. And it's a size 14 and that was six pound 49 is it silk do we think it's silk people let's have a look I saw someone on instagram put um they, they spotted a karen mill on top for 25 pounds in the charity shop oh wow uh 94 silk so that's pretty much silk <laughs> i mean if that was a pork sausage yeah that would be a pork sausage yeah uh, probably should not have picked this up. Um, it was closing and I just grabbed stuff. And I think I meant to look this up and then didn't get a chance. Uh, but who knows? It's Louche or Louche. There we go. And the original price was £45. It's brand new with tag, size 12, £4.99. You got seduced by the RRP. I did. I really did. Um, next is Karen Millen, brand new with tags. T-shirt, uh, Bardo is that? I can never remember the shoulders. Uh, that was six ninety nine, and that is a size sixteen. Is that T-shirt with sleeves that long? It's not long sleeves. It's off the shoulder. <laughs> so okay. they're three quarter length sleeves. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know. That's just that's why I was asking, just because someone watching might be thinking the same thing. Next up, we've got a Karen Millen top. Now, Will, I'm going to tell you something now. I have listed some stuff out of this bundle already, um, much to Simon's disappointment. Um, yeah, I wanted it in the video. But... Um, but time was of the essence. I needed to get listing. And there was another two Karen Millen vests that I've already listed. Um, so this one is sleeveless. Oh, no, it's a halter neck um, with some beading and sequins. So I'm guessing it's the same person that got rid of all these. Uh, size 14, and this was £6.49. Was the brand new tags one six forty nine as well? Four ninety nine. The one, the one that would. Oh no, uh, this one. Yeah. Six ninety nine. Ooh, fifty p more for a brand new. Uh, Carhartt t-shirt, large orange stripe. This was three ninety nine. Again, not sure if I should have picked this one up. Didn't get a chance to look it up. Um, it's the it's a Porsche or Porsche, but it's actually Porsche. Uh, my dad's always made me say it properly. This is a Porsche polo neck. This is a large, and that was four ninety nine. And the label it says Porsche Design Driver Selection. Mm. Interesting. Very. It's not all clothes, by the way. We, I don't know if they no. already mentioned. We've got bric-a-brac and toys. And games. Mm. This is a different sort of t-shirt. It's a Gildan uh, label, but it's, it reminded me of Ross from Friends. <laughs> Paleontology t-shirt. Yeah. Wow. 
Brand new tags, by the way. Also didn't get a chance to look this up, but I thought it was really nice. It's a flat cap patchwork and it's Shandon headwear and woven in Ireland. It's Donegal tweed. Do you want to oh. put it on? Why not? I'm not really a, You're not a, a hat, hat person. No. Does it even fit my head? Should I have it to like the side? No, do what we did in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah loads of my friends wore them. They all have got sort of horns. <laughs> get that off there. Uh, medium, $4.99. Throw it in my face. So, and then we've got, because I asked Simon on the day I came back with these, he hadn't seen any of these items of clothing. Uh, so guess, like, I'll give you three guesses of things that I bought back, or like brands or anything. And one of the guesses he said was Joe Brown's. Correct. Joe Brown's Gelee Men's. 9.99 paid for this. It's a large. Needs a bit of spot cleaning, doesn't it? It no. needs a bit of a wipe. But yes, yeah. I couldn't leave that behind. Oh, we're going to fall in the bag for life if I'm not careful. And then finally, a Liberty tie. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Liberty tie. Very nice. $4.99. Need, need a bit of a wipe there, but otherwise, great. Cool, cool. So that concludes the clothes. Yeah, let's show some uh, bric a brac, shall we? So we got, face by this straight away, it's Woodswear. And this is Beryl, the green. There's a few others. What's the, the yellow one called? There's Iris, oh, and I've got it in front of me. Oh. Yellow, Jasmine. Jasmine, yes. Uh, so it's seven saucers. I always say this is the sort of thing when you open like a cupboard in an old people's home, this is what you'll find. Or village hall. Village hall, yeah. Uh, seven plates and seven cups. Guess how much? For all of that, one pound fifty. <laughs> So that came straight off the shelf. Next up, I really undenied over this. So it's Selkirk glass paperweight. Um, it was £10. And I mean, it's, it's a beautiful paperweight. It's vintage. So etched on the bottom is Selkirk glass, Scotland, and then the maker, I guess, Pierre difficult to see, uh, 1999. Uh, so I popped onto eBay and, and vintage Selkirk glass, it's nice and big as well, uh, does all right. I couldn't really put a price on it. Um, it could, it could be sort of 50 to 60 pounds, but it could be 20 to 30, you just don't know. Often with paperweights, it's down to the buyer. And I'm not that patient when it comes to sitting out, holding out for, for higher price stuff. Um, so we shall, we shall see. Hopefully you'll see it in a sold video soon, as soon as Faye gets around to listing it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, if you are not subscribed to Sales of the Unexpected, Peter does a video on a Tuesday. Uh, hopefully by the time this video comes out, he will still be doing it, um, where you send them a message on Instagram for your number of items that you've listed and number of items that you've sold uh, from Sunday, Monday to Sunday. Monday to Sunday. And then a few of us go on the video and people send in. And it's just to kind of look at sort of are there any patterns to what you're listing versus what's sold, but also it sort of motivates a little bit. We went away on holiday and when we came back we were like okay we really need to get on this because there's people that listed like 160 items in a week and we've done 24 <laughs> and they were kind of cross-listed anyway so they weren't even really listed well we we're on holiday but um so yeah join join over there if you if you fancy that yes tales of the unexpected sales of the unexpected <laughs> so <laughs> right what else do we get we got this they got this. I can't remember what it's called, like a tumbly woo or something. Thank you, Plonk. I don't know. It's 
So it's from, what is it, in the night garden? Mm. These testing, this is supposed to have batteries in it and I didn't have a screwdriver to test it when I was looking at it yesterday. And because it's got lights on the top and I guess it might make a noise. They're all taped up together, so they stay together in the shop, so obviously I need to take that off. Um, there was It was mixed bag for solds. Um, some of the set had sold for like eight or nine pounds. We paid two pound 50. Now this green one, this one here is a shape sorter and the shapes aren't in there. Um, so that's obviously not great. However, this one here that I said needs batteries in it, some of these have just sold on their own for like eight or nine pounds. So, and the full set has sold for like 20, 25. So I'm gonna clean it up and aim high and see where it leads us. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't, then obviously I can't. But um, yeah, we shall see. Mm. You can sort that out, you can test it. Okay. Seeing as I'm listing your paper All right then, fair enough. I tend to do the back, well, some of the battery stuff, don't I? I rewired some plugs that time, do you well, remember? Yeah, that's for Christmas the, lights. And, and I blew the fuse. Yeah, blew the house up. Right, so we've got some items for Amazon. As usual, all these, if they're used, they're unchecked. Um, we scan in the charity shop onto the Amazon app, so the Amazon seller app, which is free. If you have an Amazon seller account, you can just scan the barcode. And the Amazon app will tell you how much something is for sale for. You can also see the sales rank, so that's an indication of how popular an item is. And obviously you'll be able to see, or also you'll be able to see reviews. So it gives you an item, <laughs> cannot speak today, it gives you an idea of uh, how popular a product is too. So uh, I just grabbed this because I know it sells well. Uh, it's £2.50, not going to make us rich. <laughs> Two, uh, £11.24. Uh, spot the intro, it's new and sealed, although it is a bit uh, tatty. It's bumped on the corners, there's a slit in that corner there. Uh, so that's a bit disappointing, but it was only £2. The one that scans is a different colour. So the different colour, we, we have recently sent in the other one before. It's probably about 20 quid. Yeah. Bounce off. Um, <laughs> We uh, we did a video quite a while ago, it must be eight to ten months ago, where we had a little game of bounce off. It was the first one of these that we that we got, and since then we sort of I've, I've been finding other ones like different versions. They don't sell as well. This one sells fast on Amazon, three pounds it costs. Twenty four ninety nine used. It's a very similar rank to that first one we did, the Ravensburger game. Oh no, it's Cosmos. Oh Cosmos. Ding mats. The badge is in here. I suppose I should do it anyway, in case you're new to the channel. Leanne will get annoyed if you go slow. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Leanne. Hold on. I did take the tape off in the charity shop, but it sort of stuck itself down again. Um, so you're looking to make sure. I can't see the badge. Leanne will get annoyed if you go slow. Sorry, Leanne. Hold on. It's got the I'm a Ding Bats winner badge in it. Also features in our intro. Ah. Me showing the I'm a Ding Bats winner badge. Currently for sale, we use at £14.99. Um, down a bit. Yeah, we paid £3.50. Oh, shit, man. You're so clumsy as well. I don't know what's wrong with you. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Top Gun. £3.50 strategy board game. Never seen this before, never bought it before. I don't know if it's new 2020. Probably in, in anticipation of when they were making a new film. Only for sale new, £16.99, none available used. Beat the parents. I've got this. A bit manky. Is it? Nah. Nothing that a grime white probably it's not manky. It's got all pens. It's, pe it's not poo. This had a really good rank, so just suck it up. How much did we pay? Two ninety nine. Um, currently for sale, use at ten ninety five. It's two thousand in toys. Oh, David Essex. One ninety nine. Housewife's favourite. Brand new sealed DVD. Uh, currently for sale, new ten ninety nine, but none available in FBA, and it's a rank of nine thousand six hundred and sixty four. Is it really? And finally, um, Faye got this, seen it, it's brand new and sealed, uh, I'll probably go with it, it's got like a little hole in the seal there and a little bump here, probably go with it though, as new, uh, 4 99 that is. 19 99 
And that concludes the haul. What's your favourite item? My favourite item is probably the woodsware barrel. Oh, okay. Cups and saucers and plates. Because um, it was such a bargain. Well, since you ask, yeah, what was yours? mine is the Selkirk glass uh, paperweights. Beautiful. Vintage paperweights. It's Sunday evening. Because it's late, it's Sunday night. Sunday night, because we've got a bit of a busy day tomorrow. So we want to get picked so I can get packed first thing. Uh, sold a few random things I've got to go to in every shop, uh, which I'm not looking forward to. And this is what we've sold over the weekend. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. go. From the top, are you ready? Ready. Dresses, go, go, go. Uh, it's like this, it feels late, you know? It's like everything <laughs> feels weird. Okay, I've got dresses. It's that one there with the red bits on. Oh, okay, this one. Yes, it's a Joe Brown's tunic dress plus size 26. Cost six pound in August, sold for twenty one forty nine. It's going to America, GSP. Uh, that one had a very tiny bit of the label. Someone had uh, cut the brand label and the care label out, but they'd left the tiniest of the corner on the dress. And I thought, in the shop, I thought that's Joe Brown's. So when I got home, I took a picture of it and I uh, sent a picture to um, Joe Browns on Instagram and they confirmed, yes, it was one of theirs. So oh, nice. little tip for you. Um, one that you just picked from upstairs, some curtains. They were free to us. Free to us. They are Laura Ashley pencil pleat curtains and they sold for $49.99 plus post. Tops. B. B. For Barber, navy blue Pantone polo t-shirt. Come on, go, go, go. Barber. Barber, barber. Barber, barber. Pantone Yay. polo shirt, 16. Yeah, cost four pounds, sold for 12.71. Not great. Boom. Nips and dips. Yeah, um, so that one's been picked. Uh, bottoms. Mm -hmm. Marks and oh, that's a jacket that needs to go in jackets. So, I've got no room. No, Marks and Spencer's faux leather jeans, size 20. Marks and Spencer's faux leather jeans, so they, does that mean they're black? Yeah. Although they could be other colour. Yeah. Like M&S faux leather jeans, 20. Yes, they were free to us. They sold for £10. Hmm. Okay. Jackets. So maybe, oh no, yeah. actually we've got two jackets to pick, so we might be able to get that one in. Okay. It's a green, khaki green kin jacket. Kin jacket. <laughs> Which is weird that it's not in there. No, because. Ah, there it is. That one, I can't remember how much I paid for that. Uh, it's a size 12, although it's oversized, and um, that sold for 26 99 It had so many watches in the few days that yeah, I listed it. it was getting... I turned off the coupon on it and turned off offers, I think. It? it would have been on our top watch, wouldn't it, for the next mm, thing? Maybe, But yeah. it, it was one, two... Same with the Laura Ashley curtains. Yes, next, shearling jacket. What colour? Brown, although it could be in palette. Oh, okay. Right, cool. Palette, brown, neck size 14, um, shearling jacket. This was a palette item, so squeeze it out. Back in the day. Back in the day, April 22, we bought three palettes from auction of clothes. And um, we hardly have anything left now. That was 278, sold for 764 plus post. Oh. A newly listed item. Oopsie, that yeah. that nearly landed on my foot. Oh. Pops G for G. G. Uh, What's on the floor? Not G. Sort all this out. That's not G. This is G. Oh. Yeah. Gant Contrast Collar Polo Shirt, grey, triple XL, brand new tags. 
Yes. This little beauty we got at the Walkabout Market on Bank Holiday Monday, uh, paid seven pounds, and ah. we, and the money was lent to us by a lovely couple who recognised us from our YouTube videos, and we, because we didn't have any cash on us, we needed to go to the cash point, so we PayPal'd it to them on the street. Um, so yeah that was great that sold for 45 so thanks guys <laughs> then we've got the denby colonial blue teacup and saucer we had a pair of these one sold the other day uh, it's blue yes. beautiful that cost 325 sold for 16.99 then stay right where you are Ooh, is it this warhammer a uh, load of Warhammer I got in auction like two years ago, sold a few bits, shown them on video. This is the last one to go. Cost a fiver. Sold for 25 smackerini. Mm. Tops S for Sir. <laughs> uh, what's down here? It's green, it's Cecil, and it's Hidden Valley, size 16. No, it, the top. Because you're in top. Oh, yeah, but it's pattern. It's got a pattern on it. Does that look like it's got a pattern on it? Well, it might have inside. You know that Pringle jumper the other day with all the diamonds on it? It was a polo shirt. Well, yeah, well, you'd folded it up with the pattern on the inside. So it was a surprise? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just saying. So that could have been, could have had a pattern on it, couldn't it? There it is. So Hidden Valley Top. Five pounds sold for eighteen forty nine. This is in August. Okay. Um, kids shoes. Put that jacket away. Bit of everything. Oh, I'll put that on my foot. Look. <laughs> um, get that out of the way, and then I can put that back up there. And put that over there. Put that there. Shoes. Yep. Kids Birkenstocks. Hmm. Have we got a kids one? Yeah. Accessories is just where we dump stuff. Uh, check that. Should be, in, should be in shoes. Are they in a box? Here they are. Oh yeah. So, because they're, they're um, camouflage, you couldn't see yeah, them. Yeah, that's because they're smaller. Birkenstock, Arizona kids. What on earth? Fine, fine. I'll if I did that, uh, they were £4 from a charity shop in August, sold for 20 <laughs> Then we've got tops, C for C. Orange and white striped Carhartt Scotty pocket t-shirt. This had so much interest on Vinted. And so many people favourited it. There it is. Orange and white stripe. I wasn't listening. <laughs> but I'm all about getting the money kind of instantly. So I thought I'm going to wait for this to sell on eBay. I'm not accepting offers on Vinted and waiting seven years to get paid. So that was listed in August. Paid $3.99, sold for $19.99. Keep that out. Callaway Opti Dry Polo Shirt Red. Red, red, red. Yes. Looks that like Zalloway. I mean, look at that. Zalloway. Zalloway. <laughs> Opti Dry Polo Shirt Extra Large Munich. Uh, three ninety nine sold for twelve. That was listed in May. <clears throat> and then finally, the I can't see it. The lampshade. Oh yeah, I buried that down here somewhere. Here it is. I won't throw this. It's a Laura Ashley lampshade, silver grey pinch seat fabric. Cost three pounds, sold for ten plus post. Shall we pick the Etsy order? Yes. It was the basket, the what? stair basket. That one, no. It? Oh, I got it buried in the corner. This cost. This cost one pound sixty one in an auction lot and sold for twenty six ninety nine on Etsy. It's good, isn't it? It's is good the flat cap good one good one snake please stay there for a minute bless them 
So this is a Shandon Headwear Donegal Tweed Flat Cap Patchwork, 100% wool. That cost £2.49, listed it in August, sold for £26.99. No more hats. No more hats for now. <laughs> Next up we've got a dress. This is in dresses. And yeah. it's a Great Plains Tilly Embroidery Shirt Dress, size 12. Cost £1.82, it's navy blue. And sold for £12.99. Brand new tags. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I've got any other dresses. No. No more dresses. Dress, dress season is done. <laughs> and then we've got your totem pole. Ooh, yeah. That is here. I'll pop a picture on. That cost £8, sold for £29.99. That's going to the Netherlands, I think. Ooh. Uh, next up, we've got Tops J. Okay. It's a sort of purpley colour shirt, Jack Murphy, and it's got beagle dogs on it. The beagles. <laughs> That's a size 20. It sold for £2.75. No, it didn't. It cost £2.75 and sold for £15.99. Listed it in July. Um, it back. Got any more A2? No. Any more G to L tops? Yes, we've got Kin John Lewis jumper, light grey, and we've got the crinkle effect fabric. There it is. That cost three pounds off for thirteen ninety nine. Uh, listed in July also. And do we have any more in that tub? No. It's an artificial Christmas tree stand. Is the stand artificial or is it for artificial trees? It's for artificial trees. Yeah, it's not a pretend stand. Uh, £3.10 that costs that sold for £14.99 plus post. We've also got the scanner, the Canon Cano Scan Lead 120 that cost nothing. That was free to us. That sold for £35. Cano Scan? Yes, you can. Um, is the big button phone in there? The big button phone? Yeah. Beautiful. That cost three ninety nine in August and sold for twenty pounds. Then we've got oh Harry Potter DVDs. <coughs> These cost twenty p and sold for nine ninety nine plus post. All of the uh, Harry Potter films. Then we've got some trousers and they're in the dining room. No, they're not. I think they're in here. Ooh. Bottoms. Bottoms. It should be right on the top. They're green. Parky green. Folk. Is that them? Folk trousers. Yep, folk draw cord assembly pants. They were listed last week and they cost £3.95 and sold for £28. We've got some mugs. You're a mug. You're a mug. Move your golf bag out of the way. Yeah, let's sell that. Uh, mugs. We've got a pair of Disney Store Eeyore mugs. They cost two ninety eight, sold for twelve ninety nine. Oh, Donald Duck. No. Yes. Yep. Next, we've got an All Saints jumper. So A. It's a Raven Crew sweatshirt in black. Raven Crew. Raven. Oh, oh three. No, that cost three pound thirty three. Got my numbers oh, mixed Raven up today. <laughs> and sold for fifteen ninety nine. That was listed in July. Have I got anything else for in there? No. Then we've got the vintage sewing basket. This beauty. That cost a pound at the garage sale, walkabout market. Uh, that was our first pickup. It cost yes. a pound. That sold for twenty two ninety nine. Then we've got a another mug. Another mug. <laughs> a Denby Imperial Craftsman mug, blue ceramic. Cost a pound. Sold for eleven. Then we've got Kim and Co. Out of the Kim and Co. tub. A Kim and Co skirt and top, extra large, red. 
Oh, could it be this one? I hope it is that one. <laughs> yes. Yes, that was two pounds at the walkabout market and that sold for 15.19. We've also got out of there nothing. I thought we did. Swiftly moving on. <laughs> Next up is another mug. Another mug? Muggins. The mugs. It's okay. a mug kind of day. It's a Walt Disney Classics mug. Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Piglet, Tigger, Sledging. That was one ninety nine, sold for seven ninety nine plus post, which isn't great. No, I've had that one for a, a while. When was that listed? That was listed in May. Yeah. Okay, bottoms. Apologies, we've got another bottoms. Yep. Uh, some Ed Hardy shorts, thirty inch waist. They are blue with um, like a print on them near the top. I reckon. Not that near the top. No. Is that, that them? Yeah. They were £3. They sold for £17.49. Listed those in August. Any more bottoms? No bottoms. And then we've got two bundles of jewellery. Oh, yeah. Oh, and another one upstairs. Um, didn't bring down. We've got jewellery bundle two and jewellery bundle three. No, that that one hasn't sold. That's jewellery bundle oh, one. So jewellery bundle three is upstairs. Okay. So just to, yeah, let's go through both of them. So um, this is just drop a lot of jewellery. We've been ha we've been hanging around since before lockdown, and in the end, I decided to weigh it and sell it. So uh, jewellery bundle two, which Simon is beautifully modelling. Do you like my new necklace? It's actually over two kilos. Um, job lot of mixed costume jewellery and I put craft, repair, wear, resell, upcycle, unsorted in the title. No idea how much it cost, um, but it sold for £12 plus heavy post. And exactly the same sort of idea on the other one that sold for £14.99 plus heavy post. Mm. And they sold within like 48 hours of listing. Uh, we've got a quick update on our top watched items. So in a video, oh, quite quite long ago uh, was the last time we did an update on this we showed you nine items that were currently our top watched items i'll put them on the screen now just to refresh your memories mm -hmm. uh, the first thing to sell was the brass belt it was an interesting one we had a message from a customer saying um could they i think they asked for a video so, of, they, could hear so they could hear what it sounded like um, because if it didn't sound right, they were going to return it. I mean, that was just a message straight off the bat. Um, I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> we, we offer returns, that's absolutely fine. But if someone messages us with the intention of returning it, uh, it was an instant block. And unfortunately, they then ordered it uh, using a different account. Um, but everything went fine, they didn't return it, obviously lying to it, didn't get any more messages, I don't think they even left feedback. There you go. Uh, but that sold for £40.34. And, and as usual, we asked you to comment in that video as to which one you thought would sell first. And one person got it correct, Susan Bowen. Uh, you said number eight, Bell will sell first, so well done to you. Over to the latest uh, top watched, so our top nine. At number nine is the Vintage Secondo Ladies Watch. It's been listed since August 22. In the last 30 days, it's had 72 views, it's got four watches, and it's only £8.24. So at number nine, the Vintage Seconda Watch. At number eight, we have the Vintage CLP Glass Jar. Uh, there's three of them, biscuits, coffee and sugar. They're brown, they're glass, they're very retro, they're very nice. Uh, they were listed in August 22 as well. They've had 10 views in the last 30 days. They've got four watches and the current price is 27.94. So that's number eight. Uh, number seven, is it Rack? Yeah. R-A-K, porcelain large bowls, times four. Um, they were listed in September 22. They've had 27 views in the last 30 days, got four watches and they're for sale for £32.57. So at number seven, the rack bowls. At number six, we have a Thomas the Tank Engine book bundle. There's nine books. 
and they were listed in September 22. They've had 61 views in the last 30 days. They've also got four watchers and they are currently priced at £12.34. So that's Thomas the Tank Engine at number six. Bargain. Uh, number five, it's the only survivor from the last <laughs> top watched uh, list. So this is the only one that didn't sell since we last did this. Uh, it feels like six weeks ago, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> um, and it's a pretty lavish dress, size eight. Is it pretty lavish? <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure we said that last time. <laughs> March 22, it's been listed since. 15 views in the last 30 days, five watches, and it's only £6.84. So number five, the pretty lavish dress. At number four, we have the vintage Hornsey Fauna Posy vase. Uh, it's ceramic and it's a bit like Bambi. Uh, that was listed in May 22. It's had 10 views in the last 30 days, got six watches, and it's currently for sale at £9.34. So that's the vintage Hornsey Fauna Posy vase at number four. And number three is a TU Christmas jumper, Nordic Fair Isle style. Uh, it was listed in October very recently. It's had 184 views in the last 30 days. It hasn't even been listed for 30 days. Six watches and it's currently at 21.24. So number three, the Christmas jumper. At number two, we have the IKEA Jack Jacob Spin pink pendant brown glass round lampshade and uh, that was listed in September 22. It's had 74 views in the last 30 days. It's got seven watches and it's currently for sale at 18.99. So at number two, it's the IKEA pendant glass lampshade. Not which, saying that Swedish word again. <laughs> no, which means I get number one. Number one is the Woods Wear Beryl Jug. This is in Faye's I'm gonna list it quick and sell it quick video uh, <laughs> about two months ago throwing shade at you. I know, it's cross-listed to Etsy and it's in people's baskets over there as well. I wish someone would just buy it for their custard on Christmas Day or something. Yeah, so this was September 22 listed, 15 views in the last 30 days, seven watches, and it's only £12.84. Uh, someone will come along, we just need the right buyer that's just dropped their Woodswear jug. Uh, so get dropping your jugs. So in the comment section now, please, uh, one to nine, which one do you think is gonna sell first? And we will update you in the next few videos. And, uh, and let you know what's sold. That's the end of the video. We hope you've enjoyed everything we've covered, including the picking, what's sold, and the haul. Uh, it's been a sort of fun-packed video. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.